In this video tutorial, we're going to take a look at the back office editing capabilities of Easy Publish. And to get started, we supply our username and password through the login dialog. And this logs us into the system and gives us access to the dashboard. And on the dashboard, you get a quick overview of the latest content which has been added or modified. In addition, it gives you direct access to the service portal for Easy Publish Enterprise users, where you can see which version you're running, get access to patches and updates and so on. The philosophy of the interface is that you should be able to configure how you're using your screen real estate. For example, the right panel can be expanded or the size of the left panel can be adjusted. For editing content, this is done in the Content Structure tab in the user interface. Here you have a couple of options when you want to navigate to the content. First of all, you can choose the content naming structure on the left. Here you can navigate directly to a folder where you have, for example, an article you'd like to edit. Another option is to utilize the search. I'm going to search for Ferrari. Also note the suggestions coming from the Easy Find search engine as you type the search terms. Here you can see that the search items are sorted by priority and we can go directly to this article for example. If you'd like to edit, you can just click Edit where you can edit any part of the content. Let's change the title here. You can also enter full screen mode to be able to use the entire screen real estate for the editing operations. This also applies to fields like the body of this article where you can switch to full screen editing for this real text attribute. And of course we can add content directly in a WYSIWYG fashion. Another thing I'd like to show you is if I scroll down to the bottom of the content I have group content attributes I can expand or collapse. This is something you can use when you build your content structure in Easy Publish to have certain attributes only available if you expand them. So meta information or content which should be added by a different editor is useful to group in that way. Once done with editing I can send this for publishing and the content is made available in the content repository. If you're viewing different types of content, for example if I go here to the image gallery called Cars, here it could be interesting to modify the presentation of the content so I can go to the table options and for example enable thumbnails. This gives me the possibility to quickly see the preview of the media file I've uploaded. If you're interested in more detailed information about a specific piece of content you can use the expander to get detailed information about the content item including a preview, more detailed information, look at where it's stored in the content repository. And if it's a container, you can also manage publishing order of its sub-items.